Hello, today we're going to cover identifying a bad seat belt. This is test one on how to identify a bad seat belt. First, shake the seat belt and listen for a rattle. If the seat belt rattles, then you have a bad one. If it doesn't rattle, it could still be bad and will require additional testing, testing to measure resistance. Test two, measuring resistance. First, you'll need a multimeter, preferably an automatic one. You can get models such as this that you can pick up at your local Walmart for as little as $10, or you can go and pick up a professional grade multimeter for about $150. Both will do, both will get the job done for you. Now we're ready to begin. First, you must set your multimeter to read resistance or ohms. That's one. Now I'll set the other one up for you. As you had seen earlier, I, I had a Q-tip inserted into the opening. In this opening, you'll see we have two pins that are standing in the middle, and we have the two shorting bars that are standing right next to them. The shorting bars are now making contact with the pins. What you're wanting to accomplish is you're wanting to separate the shorting bar from the pin so that you can get an accurate measurement of resistance. See how the shorting bar moves back and stops touching the bar. You don't need to push both of them back. Just pushing one back is enough. One will do. I'm going to show you the reading that I get by not pushing back the shorting bars. Notice the meter gives me a 0.3 reading. It'll fluctuate between 0.2 and 0.3. I've inserted the Q-tip and I've separated the shorting bar from the pin, from one of the pins and now we're going to check the resistance. See how the resistance is changing. This is our indicator that we have a bad seat belt. A good seat belt will give you a reading from, of a range of anywhere from 2 and 3 ohms. That's 2 to 3 ohms on a good seat belt. Test a good seat belt for you so you can see the reading of a good seat belt. Two point three, two point four, 